Welcome back folks, it is Jafer, and today we're going to take a look at Esports Tiger's newest entry, the Blaze mouse pad that uses Cordura material. We've seen it before in the industry, let's see if it stacks up against the competition. Coming in at $39.99 and scheduled for release sometime toward the end of February by Addis Inc. Uh, currently only available in the US. Uh, the Blaze is going to stand out compared to its competitors immediately just upon glancing at it. Uh, this has come to be expected by Esports Tiger at this point. They do love their loud and detailed designs and I have to say I do too. It's bold and it really it's not everyone's cup of tea and it might not fit everyone's desk aesthetic uh, but it definitely is a looker and it's something that I do like to see. At 480 by 400 millimeters it's the only size that's currently available with a thickness of four millimeters. This is gonna offer ample amount of space for no matter what sense or DPI you are using, but I can't help but admit that I do wish there was a desktop version, and hopefully we do see that down the road in that desk mat size. Cordura isn't really new to mouse pads either. We've seen it on the Cooler Master, the MP510, as well as the Endgame MPC450, the ASUS ROG Scabbard Original, so on and so forth. It's a nylon fabric that's widely used in the military, hiking, camping, even the construction industry. Now what makes this different from the rest of those pads that are out there using Cordura is that it does have a very small tight weave to it uh, and it also has an SR foam base where the others are going to have your natural rubber base. The small tightly weaved surface allows for it to be considered a speed pad that isn't as audible as its competitors like the MP510. Uh, the weaves were much larger on that and it didn't matter what feet or mouse that you did use you could always hear that constant scratching sound of the two surfaces causing friction. Uh, that is not the case with the Blaze. Everything is really muted or I just don't hear that audible scratching due to those tightly weaved uh, surface areas. And the other benefit too is that that smooth surface does allow me to not have to wear like a sports or gaming sleeve as it didn't cause any irritation on my forearm, which is definitely awesome. Uh, I still do always recommend a proper sleeve if you're not wearing your hoodie or a long sleeve sweater or anything like that as it just causes less friction overall on your skin uh, but leave it to the blaze to wear with its surface and it also bolds well with the stitching on the edges as the stitching is super tight and it's also flat or flush with the surface so you don't actually feel the edges now the actual surface does have a uniform x and y axis so that cordura surface is going to be uniform no matter which way you are uh, flicking or swiping the blaze is going to remain much more consistent over a long period of time than your coated cloth or even your uncoated cloth pad as you're coming from a material that is built to last uh, you using a gaming mouse is not going to have any detrimental impact on that nylon stitching or surface. The Blaze has next to no static friction, which is perfect for micro adjustments on the fly. And the stopping power is really not a concern either. I have just enough control without hindering on the speed. So I really feel that the Blaze has that best of both worlds, but I had to put this in the category. This is definitely gonna be more of a speed pad. Going into the SR foam, uh, it's definitely a much more soft and plush material than what you're used to seeing on other Cordura pads such as that natural rubber base. Uh, it just provides much more cushion as well as it just gives you that comfort as well. Uh, this gives me personally a benefit in added control on a speed pad as I normally have a tendency to drag my thumb along the surface of the mouse pad just to create more stopping power if I need to, if I feel that I'm overcompensating on my shot. Um, I definitely take advantage of that. And that's why a lot of times you can see in a cloth pad where it just starts to wear down. That's not gonna be the case with the Cordura. The one thing I do wanna stress with this that the other pads do not suffer from is that with this having that SR foam base, this is gonna be impacted by humidity. Now, I don't personally know that because I live in the desert here in Arizona, 
but I do know that on a technical level only because SR foam is used in insulation and in buildings and they generally have a barrier also installed with it to help mitigate on humidity and moisture buildup. So keep that in mind if you do live in a high humid area. My copy did come in rolled up in a box. It did lay flat within a few hours so I didn't have any negative impact on it gripping the table either, uh, whether it was on another large desk mat that I normally game on, or if I was using it on a wooden surface, this did not go anywhere for me, which is great to see. And lastly, if I had to compare this or put this up against other pads that aren't necessarily Cordura, I would definitely say if you're looking for something super fast and you can't go wrong with the Glorious Ice or the Artisan Shindikai, uh, but if you're someone who does have the MP510, you do have the Esports Tiger Ling Young or any of the GSRs or QCK, really any cloth pad, you owe it to yourself to give the Esports Tiger Blaze a try. All right, so that does it for me. I think the Blaze is a fantastic mouse pad. If you've been using the MPC 450 by Endgame, but you're looking for something a little bit more soft, I think this might be Endgame for you. Uh, until next time, I am Jafer. I do appreciate you hanging out. If you did like the content, please throw a like. Of course, hit that subscription button. I do greatly appreciate it. Until next time, you guys stay safe.